How's it going everyone? It is me, Craig Mitch, and welcome to another Top 5. And this week we are doing Top 5 Most Loved Spurs Keepers. Save me, save me, save me. In at number 5 is Paul Robinson. Now, we bought him from Leeds United in 2004 for 1.5 million. That's not a lot at all. Uh, he made over 130 appearances for the club and even scored one goal. An amazing goal at that where he lobbed Ben Foster, who was playing for Watford at the time, from pretty much his own area. He just thought, let me go for it. He's off his line, can I do it? Knocked it, lobbed him. Amazing. Um, he was England's number one. He had that chant we used to scream all the time. England's number one. England's, England's number one. And he used to turn around, give us a wave, give us a wave. And uh, yeah, at a Ledley King testimonial, he actually got everyone singing, we hate Arsenal and we hate Arsenal. We hate Arsenal, we hate Arsenal. We hate Arsenal. Or was it stand up if you hate Arsenal? It was probably one of them, but who cares? He got everyone to incite hatred towards Arsenal, the Gooners, Woolwich. I love you, Paul Robinson. You're in at number five. In at number four is Ian Walker. Now, this man is an absolute legend. He made 312 appearances and in that time had zero haircuts. He played from 1989 to 2001. That is 12 years. He was a loyal servant to the club, known for his blonde Backstreet Boys, Nick Carter hairstyle, kind of like Barnaby's except better. This guy was an absolute legend and he made the pony strip, the purple one, goalkeeper, always wanted it. He made it popular. He's an absolute legend. And allegedly, allegedly, he's earning 50 grand a week as a goalkeeping coach for Shanghai East over in China. Weird. In at number three is Furelio Gomez. Now, we bought him from PSV Eidhoven in 2008 for 7.8 million and one day Ramos made the purchase. He's very smiley. He was quite likeable. We'd always sing, Gomez, give us a wave. Gomez, Gomez, give us a wave. He'd always turn around wave during the match, you know, when a striker was in on goal, the idiot. But we still liked him. I mean, before the game, he'd jump up, grab the bar, do that strange little warm up. He made some great saves when we was in the Champions League but he also made a couple howlers, most notably against Real Madrid. But for some reason, we always loved the guy because he had a big smile on his face and he's doing pretty well for Watford now. So, Gomez, I salute you. Number two, Brad Friedel, AKA Bruce Willis. Now, this guy signed from Aston Villa in 2011 and he is currently the holder for most consecutive appearances in the Premier League with 310 never takes a sick day. No matter what, this guy could have pneumonia, he could have the flu, tuberculosis, it doesn't matter. He's coming in to do a job and he did a job. He was very, very good for us. Very reliable, very popular with the crowd, an all-American captain. Maybe he should have played Captain America in that new Marvel film, because this guy is amazing. An actual hero, a superhero. I love you, Brad Friedel. Not only that, he's a great pundit over in America and he's still at the club as an ambassador. Well done, Brad Friedel. It's the sounds of the Lloris. Look at that. It's just gone into me. I've taken his superpowers. Hugo Lloris is number one. The gorgeous Frenchman that he is. Safe hands. He's just so gorgeous. He knows what he's doing. He's no nonsense. Doesn't like to smile. When we say Hugo, give us a wave. He doesn't give us a wave, especially during mid-game because he's so focused on what's going on. He's a captain. He's a France number one. He's our number one and we love him. We signed him from Lyon in 2012 for around 10 million euros plus add-ons and he's just been phenomenal and we don't want to let him go. Lloris, don't leave. No matter what happens, even if we get relegated, even if we go into League One, you will be at Spurs. I will chain you to the club. I will make sure you don't go anywhere. I'll even pay your own wages when I become a superstar. If I become a superstar, Hugo Lloris, we love you. And that is it. That is our top five most loved Spurs goalkeepers of all time. And they could only have been number one. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Let me know some of the keepers that you love. Maybe you don't like our top five. Maybe there's some in your mind that you think should have been mentioned. Let us know in the comments below. Follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV. And we'll see you next time. Keep it casual. This video is all about the top five Spurs football manager players. So the players in the Spurs squad who are brilliant on football manager 